Hello. Um, today we're going to be making this thing, which is a tree of 3D printed parts. Or as my Caribbean friends might say, 3D printed. But second of all, um, it's a practicality thing. So when we put our little parts, in this case these little um, repulsor thingy-majiggers, onto a tree, uh, onto the cent central post like this, it allows us to print stuff um, stacked up vertically like this. So in that way we can fit a lot more of these little guys onto our our build platform than we normally would be able to if we were just printing like one row of these on our flat build platform. So yeah, we'll, we'll go into Blender, a, th a free um, 3D software to build these and you'll, you'll need a little bit of blender like basic blender knowledge but the concept should be um, easy to to grasp once you see it and check this out it's pretty pretty damn nice it um, even got these nice little vent details on the tops by the way um, this is milkshake sesame resin which is really beautiful resin from uh, Orbi Labs in Hong Kong and they uh, they make a 3D printer and it's a top-down printer. I also have a th top-down printer so that's what I'm using and it's this resin is very very nice. Um, specifically for undersides like I was saying in the other video these undersides here are very crispy which usually um, with with all the other resins I've tried the undersides always look bad. Um, also, I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting the bottoms to stick to the build plate, but it's pretty amazing that it still worked even without the bottoms there. Like, it, it's some, I have these, um, I have this crossbar in here, at the bot, this like kind of box frame on the bottom that helped it to like self um, st stabilize itself, even though it wasn't fully stuck to the bottom. But it still came out good. These parts all came out nice. I'm happy with them and. All right, let's get into the video. So the, the method here is pretty simple. We're just getting uh, a point or a vert. And then we go Shift D to duplicate it, P to separate it. And now we have a little vert in space. We can hold down Control to place this. And I'm trying to place this on the bottoms of of these uh, little parts. So anytime that if we, let's say if we had a plane here like this and a as we're growing the part there'll, there'll be little islands that pop up like this. This is an island here like this right here is an island. Anytime there's a part that's not supported by anything it's just floating there. That's an island. That's an island. So I'm going to try to put little dots wherever I see an island. So Shift D, Control, Shift D, Control. And just especially on these first ones, I'll go a little bit more crazy. Let me. Um, Okay, and then move it up a little bit. And I'm trying to stagger these a little bit so it's like a zigzag pattern so that it's not super, basically so we have a nice stable platform. All right, so once that's done, we can, um, I guess just copy over one of these. Shift D and move it over. And then this stuff here. I'll hit E to extrude it downwards a little bit. And then E again and S. I just deleted that one 
and also I think I probably need a little bit more help back here especially for this big piece hold down control to stick it Okay, and then this little ring can help us by just connecting all of these to make a sort of a brace for them. And then this one, oops. This one we're gonna convert into tubes. Right now they're just edges, but we can um, duplicate this. So just go Shift D, right click, and then H to hide it so we have a copy there and then we can grab this one go to edge mode control shift D and quick pipe that makes a little pipe if you don't have uh, the, the scripts that I'm using the heavy poly scripts you can do this manually by Let's just unhide the old one here. So let's go again, Shift D, right click, and then H. So if you if you want to do it manually, you just go to object mode, Alt C, curve from mesh. And when it's a curve, we get this little tab here with options to make this uh, full curve and then give it some depth. Think about point, point zero 0.05 looks like about right or maybe not one I don't know you can go alt s to to change the size of these and the resolution is here so I'll try to grab um, all these upper ones basically all the ones that are touching the, the the part and because we want to try to make these these connection points a little bit less big so I'll go alt s to maybe alt s point five oops alt s point five okay And you, if you hit N, there's a, some options for the curve. You might see handles and normals that are a little bit ugly, but I guess not today. Um, let me delete that. I don't know if that'll actually help at all. I think these should all dig in a little bit. I'll just push them up. Okay, and then once this is um, all finished up, I would probably make a copy of this one too. Oh, also you can adjust these extra ones here. Go Alt S, just in case to make some slightly bigger supports. Especially for these ones that are going to support a lot of weight.
Okay, and once you're happy with this shape, you go Shift D, uh, right click and H to hide it, just to make a copy. And then um, with this one, we're gonna convert it back to a mesh. So go Alt C, Mesh. And now we've got these open holes everywhere on the tops and the bottom. So I'll hit A to select everything, F to fill it. And now we have nice uh, solid objects. So with all of this here, right now I'm just gonna save it out as um, one, one uh, set, but you could go like this and just duplicate it upwards and that's the whole idea, I guess. So let me save this. And uh, when you wanna export, you just go here, file, export, STL and make sure you got selection only and that's it so i'm gonna test this out now and hopefully it works in the printer and i'll report back with uh, with the results bye all right so this print took about an hour there was a uh, supposed to be four of them actually but one of them didn't come up but anyway um it worked even though the the base is kind of warped and janky um, I have um, I didn't clean my build plate well enough, so it didn't stick. But other than that, I mean, it didn't really affect the, the parts themselves. As you can see, they're they're like pretty much perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with this print. I would consider this test a success. So next, I'm going to try to print this out with multiples of these stacked on top of each other, which was the whole point of this whole. Um, experiment anyway and it should work because we're just repeating the same the same thing over and over again 